All right, guess what trait is coming now? Everybody beyond this point has vertebrae. So everybody beyond that point was a chordate. Everybody beyond this point is a vertebra, vertebrate, 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 invertebrate, no, vertebrate. <laughs> Do you want to know what hour it is? I've done a really great job of not telling you. Okay, so we're, we've got vertebrates now. Our first vertebrate, the first critter that has the vertebrate is the lamprey. And lampreys, we're going to look at them in a little more detail. I want to show you because lampreys do not have jaws. And so what is this lamprey that you speak of? Well, vertebrates are incredibly diverse, but this is a lamprey. Okay, no jaw. Do you agree? Those are, that's like a mouthful of saw razor toothness. And they, whew, lampreys take their saw mouths and like attach themselves. They're parasites. They attach themselves to fish and drill a hole. So if you've ever like gone salmon fishing or something and you catch a salmon that has this big old wonkin' round sore on it, that's probably a lamprey attachment site. And they suck your blood. So sad story, but look at that thing. Very clear, no jaws. Do you agree with that? No question. Okay, so what's coming next? Jaws. And you know what? I'm going to do one of those things that just isn't very nice to do in cladograms. I'm going to throw something in quotes, and I'm going to say, these are fishies. Now, let's think about that. Fishies? What are fishies? Well, I'm grouping everything that's fishish, unless it's like a whale or something like that. We're not going to group those in there because those aren't fish. We're going to group sharks. We're going to do all our bony fish. We're going to do our lobe-finned fishes. We're going to do all of it into one chunk of fishness. I could totally then go in, there are entire classes just on fish. My son would love that class. So we could talk about, we could break down the fish cladogram forever, but we're not going to. So just for fun, know that fish have jaws. And there's a whole bunch of them. Now, the next characteristic that we're going to see or that we're going to notate in our cladogram here, everything from this point forward has four limbs. Really? Okay. Does this blow your mind just a little bit? We had jaws, and that gave rise to all of our fishes. And then it gave rise to a critter that got four limbs. And our first set of critters is amphibians. And amphibians include frogs, salamanders. There are these crazy, like they're called Sicilians, and they're, they're like snakes except they're amphibians. So they're like legless salamanders. Seriously? I, they look like giant slimy worms, but they're, they're amphibians. In fact, I think I've got a picture of one. I've got to go show you some pictures. Here are some fish. Holy fish diversity. Yeah, yeah, more fish. Cool. That thing. I was just telling you about that little, that's an amphibian. Doesn't it look like a snake? It looks almost like a millipede. But no, that's an amphibian. Here are more amphibians, salamanders. Like we've got all sorts of cool stuff. The frog lands, yeah. And then we've got, we're, we're going to have a, a new characteristic arise, and we're going to talk about that characteristic. Wow, I'm totally running out of room here. I can do it. The next characteristic is the amniotic egg. Now, I have an entire 
little section on the amniotic egg. So let's talk about that thing and who it gives rise to. And I got bad news for you. I'm going to make a whole new cladogram for my amniotes. Did you know everything with jaws are called nathostomes? And everything with four limbs are called tetrapods? And everything with amniotic eggs are called amniotes. So we can actually define these groups based on the characteristics that, that their ancestors had, which is really kind of cool. I mean, does anybody else think this is cool? Please tell me if you do, and don't tell me if you don't. All right, let's talk about the amniotic egg.